up, I always seemed to be in the best schools which were in close proximity to my house. Although it seemed super convenient, it was much more calculated than I thought. My grandfather, Sandile Shabangani, who is my father's dad, was a man who was extremely passionate about education. And as a result, his passion for education was passed down to my father, who would later prioritize education for his children, the same way his father did for him. Let's start from the beginning. My grandfather was a teacher and a lecturer at a college which was initially based at a German mission station near Middleburg until it was forcefully removed and relocated to Mdete Malimbobo. He was later promoted to a school principal. For my grandfather, education was an investment and essentially his grandchildren would have a better life than he did, which is exactly what happened because I ended up going to a good private school located in the suburbs of Benoni a completely different learning environment to what he experienced. One of my grandfather's biggest wishes was to get all seven of his children, including my father, through varsity. Eventually, all my grandfather's children became university graduates, but unfortunately, he did not live long enough to see any of his children graduate. After my grandfather passed away in 1981, my grandmother vowed to fulfill his wish to have all their children graduate with a university degree. She took a portion of my grandfather's pension money to pay for some of her children's fees. My father and his two sisters, who were still in high school, started selling ice lollies, vegetables, spices, and soap to support the family and make extra pocket money for their older siblings in varsity. The conditions in which my father and his siblings were required to go to school were completely different to what I could ever imagine. African education was brought under control of the government. Bantu education served the interests of white supremacy and denied black people access to the same opportunities as white South Africans. In 1986, when my father was in his matric year, his school was burned down at the height of the uprising to intensify the struggle against apartheid. The aim was to destroy anything that resembled government property to try and bring down the regime. The admin block, library, lab, domestic center and school hall were burned down, which meant that only the senior classes were allowed to continue with school after a two-month disruption. Even through the hardship, my father was determined to matriculate and was one of two who matriculated that year. My grandfather's love for education was passed down to my father who now holds education as one of his main priorities for his children. And although I never met him, I can definitely say that my grandfather's love for education and learning has influenced the way I view education today. I can only imagine the kind of driven, determined leader he was. And as I've heard, my grandfather would always say, choose school first so that one day you can fight the system. Well, Ntatemrolo, I hope I can make you proud because I'm almost there.